Hello and welcome. This video is about transferability. At MEF University, there are five faculties, so it's not very easy to create an English for Academic Purposes course for each one of these faculties. And why stop there? Within the faculties are several departments. Engineering alone has five departments, computer, electrical and electronics, industrial, civil, and mechanical. So given the limitations of space and personnel, the course we have designed for our students at MEF is supradisciplinary. That's a long word which means above and for all the faculties. So the worksheets and readings that you do for the classwork will be topics that we hope most people are interested in. Then for the projects that you will complete, you will be able to read articles within your disciplines. Now let's move on to talk about transferability and answer the following two-part question. What is transferability and why do we need it? It is the idea that you hear something in one place and then transfer it to another place. But we're not talking about gossip here. Let's look at an example. You hear in psychology that there are narcissistic people. So you realize that there could be narcissistic architects, engineers, lawyers, or teachers. How do you deal with these kinds of people? Well, very carefully. But the point is that if a psychologist knows a little about how an engineer works, or an engineer knows a bit about how a lawyer works, etc., then that will enable them to do a better job in their particular fields. Now, some scientists and philosophers tell us that broad knowledge can be as helpful as deep knowledge. With that in mind, let's look at some reasons for the importance of learning information outside your field, which is a key component of transferability. First, it'll broaden your perspective. Learning about ideas outside of your field of study can broaden your perspective and help you see issues from different angles. For example, if you're studying engineering and you learn about philosophy, you might gain a new appreciation for the social and ethical implications of the technologies you help create. It'll also spark creativity and innovation. Exposure to diverse ideas can spark creativity and innovation by providing new inspiration and novel approaches. For instance, a graphic designer who learns about physics might draw inspiration from the way particles interact and create an innovative design for a product or brand. It will also expand your knowledge and expertise. Learning about ideas outside of your field of study can also expand your knowledge and expertise in unexpected ways. For example, if you're a computer scientist interested in artificial intelligence, learning about psychology and human cognition can help you develop more effective and ethical AI systems. It'll also enhance communication and collaboration. Having knowledge of diverse ideas can improve your ability to communicate and collaborate with others who have different backgrounds and expertise. For instance, a doctor who learns about sociology may apply their understandings of social structures and interactions to develop more empathetic and patient-centered healthcare approaches. This could lead to improved doctor-patient relationships, better communication, and ultimately enhanced health outcomes for their patients. It'll also help you stay informed about current events and trends. Understanding ideas outside of your field of study can help you stay informed about current events and trends in various fields. For example, if you're a political science major, learning about technological advancements in artificial intelligence can help you better understand the implications of emerging policies and regulations. In conclusion, embracing this approach not only enriches your understanding, but also equips you with valuable skills that can help you achieve both your personal and professional goals. Thanks for watching.